Let's talk about lighters and how there are so many activities in which a lighter is a key element. Lighting up a jointy with the boys at the party. Lighting up the jerk pan or a candle lit dinner. Let's get right into the evolution of the lighter from creation until now. Starting at the beginning of all, the Homo erectus discovered the fire. This was a groundbreaking moment for the survival of our entire species, and it eventually will lead us to the creation of portable flames or lighters. In 1805, a chemist by the name of Jean-Louis Chancel from France created the first match in history. It was a little bit difficult to ignite, but it would be considered a start for the future of fire inventions. In 1823, Johann Wolfgang Dobereiner invented what would be the first lighter ever, known at the time as Dobereiner's lamp. It looked like nothing that we normally would say it's a lighter, and it was quite dangerous and difficult to use. An average man of England created a match that worked via friction. He never received a patent for his inventions, and so another matchmaker named Samuel Jones stole his idea and marketed under the name Lucifer's a few years later. A guy named Joshua Pusey patented the matchbook. Later, a company called the Diamond Match Company purchased this patent and started selling matches around the country. Here are what were the first branded matches ever created for the Pabst Brewing Company in Milwaukee. It's not common nowadays to use matches, but they're still a favorite among collectors. A guy called Carl R. von Wellsbach patented ferrocerium, a synthetic alloy that produces a very hot, bright spark. When struck, this metal mixture made it possible for lighters to be portable. The first novelty lighter was introduced by Louis Aronson, founder of Ronson Lighters. This lighter was called the pistol lighter and closely resembled a long barreled pistol with the trigger releasing the flame in 1926, Ronson Lighters released what would be the first automatic lighter, called the Banjo. It was silver, strangely shaped and had a super popular slogan, Push, it's lit, release, it's out. A lighter manufacturer named Colibri is credited for the invention of the semi-automatic lighter. These are still on the market today and are primarily used for lighting cigars. The Zippo Manufacturing Company was founded this year. Zippos went on to become an iconic brand that is still going strong to this day. Zippos became the standard during World War II. This helped Zippos skyrocket in popularity and become known for being a reliable lighter. Zippos started offering branded lighters for different brands and companies. These were very popular advertising items, and nowadays collectors love them. Piezoelectric lighter came onto the market for the first time. During this time, these worked via a spring-loaded hammer, which would strike quartz crystals and create a spark. The first big disposable lighter was invented during this year. It was the most affordable option on the market at the time but it was only available in a few colors. In 1996, Bic introduced the flint wheel, a child safety feature that makes accidents less prone to happen as the result of using a lighter. In 2013, to celebrate for devotee years, BIC held the best of you contest for their loyal fans. The contest asked people to design their own lighters with the top 11 designs becoming part of the BIC 40th Birthday Special Edition series. A Kickstarter campaign raised funds for the Tesla lighter, which was designed by a New Yorker named Mark Pauling. The lighter works via an internal magnet and an electric arc. Lighters got a facelift for the digital age. The models pictured above work via USB charging and feature large LED screens on the front what is your favorite kind of lighter? Share it in the comments. As always, thank you all for watching until the end. Give me a like, throw a comment and subscribe if you're interested in seeing more evolution videos.
Okay, peace.